for about 13 years now. Okay, so this is a quote from the uh, page of the project story. I would multiple companies to forward and Several versions. I guess I'll just talk to you. Can you bring it back? So the two versions of the past. So basically, there's a first version of the There's a patch hit every time. Um, 
you specify in this meal, for this meal to see is where your email comes from, and you see who the email comes from, and then you name these other three of key documents or three different members that exist in the real time repository. So, one of the things that you provide in the file is your, your GPG key ID, your um, location of the history that you come to work and then whatever local directory where you have your, your key checked up for, uh, for the work that's being done. And the other configuration file is actually a template. So, this is when you create a password and you want to not New password exists. We use an email and it uses the template to generate the email and then if you look at the key substitutes the key, you can make a configuration file and a template file. It's used to announce blah 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 and it can be your location of substitutes all of the new versions you created for the actual email itself. Redirect it to a file, and you, you can use my or whatever, whatever mail tool you use to uh, in text to keep the file. And I'm going to a little bit about how the key is running to create the actual password. So now, the first step is to identify any code that you set up actions. And like I mentioned earlier, one of the things that is the stable that we are coming down from from the upstream stable. So, for this is for an example. Basically, you go to where you have the web content subscribe. And you do a, uh, I do a website call to get all the tags and everything associated with that repo. And I specifically grab the five gene tags. So, you see, it's just over up. You can see it's separate tags with stable releases, and then you'll see a tag with a dash RT77. <coughs> yeah, I, I created with the SRT tool previously that I was not seeing. Um, and you can see that there's a uh, 515 with 64 and a 515 with 65 for different RT tags. Um, what that tells me is that those stable releases are available, but there's not really a password in my tree of uh, all those stable releases yet. So I just need to uh, either one of those or another. Stable release or two to come from, or uh, create a patch that for 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 example. Okay, so the uh, repository that you can look in for the big two prime algorithms that come to the repository or create a patch. There's a much bigger base. The repository each repository. For every major fifteen six ones, they have three branches. So basically, there's a branch we use to merge the IT code into. Merge branch we use for things like it basically keeps the patches in in the commit world. And then basically, this is the branch is used for things like you know Firefox or To, to take those patches off and make them in order. Um, so, if you do the rebase to a specific stable release, you'll see that the top, the 515, for example, you'll see the top 180 patches will be the uh, patches for the block after the stable updates or rebase. Then we have a third tree called uh, next, that's next break. Next thing is the time of the fall. Not the stable updates for a full run. A new real time patch added to the tree. Uh, we use that next in our workflow to basically create a new patch, 
the real time connection of tech is a lot of the community and the distributions to the release Tool you put, you know, you put it in your back or whatever. Um, so you can maybe have the same, you have the same tools, basically just do a good add in that to make it in the appropriate way. Um, then you do an SRT tag, you do the commit, um, and if the tag is signed using your GPG tool, then the tag creates, in this case, it'll be 515, 165, that's the key, whatever it's, uh, the A's of the Whatever the release is, that, that you're releasing, it's not just a specific version number that you're releasing. So, the plan is the release is similar, it's a different version than the repo. We uh, generally do an interactive rebase, so we'll get rebase back to the way the release is going to be. Rebase allows you to see the, the be applied so you can make sure you're not dropping on the you know, you know, the generator can be. It's going to be merged. The base is just between the sometimes will be complex. If there's going to be a complex, you'll see it first in the merge. It's going to be correct. Um, but first, if you can go between the complex and rebate and you didn't see the merge, then you know the functions are in because they should be able to go. Between the 
super close and uh, you know you did something wrong and you look back and and look at them just to see, you know, what kind of mess up. Okay, and now that we have two examples of the next now, the best of all solution is done via the, um, the rebase branch. Uh, and then the SOT tool is used in for basically SOT create. And then you provide the uh, previous resolution version that currently exists in, in, in on current work in your tree. And then you provide the argument that is the actual version that you're creating. <coughs> Created by the RT79. Um, and then the other one is the SOT tool is just doing a big format patch. So it's looking at the exact kind of you can use with your rebase prints and just put format patch on them and put uh, them in a uh, local directory. And then the SOT directory. You do the SRT create, there will be a directory with all of the patches, so the uh, patch directory with the 180 rest of the patches. There will be a fresh file that will run so it will run patch that has all of the patch, patch logic in one file. Some people need that for things. Uh, and then there will be a uh, file that contains all the, all the individual patches. And these, this is what you end up uploading to uh, Okay, so we're going to go to the patch of the tree, which I'll do from some of the before we upload. Um, I do, I do, first thing you have to do when you change anything up is to what the last uh, current build is about. Now it depends on uh, what, what distribution you use in here. Uh, what happens is that you need to build into uh, the regular derivative type builds. Since those are the, the main things distros that are out there that are consuming the patches. Um, so I can show that the, the new current compiles, they do a uh, boot type, and then um, the local test on, on the model that we released. Uh, usually run circle test and compare it to the baseline for the previous release that I've And it's all on manual at this point. Just to make sure that, that nothing major is changed uh, from the last release. And uh, I'm pretty confident in the past. And the next is to the structure and upload everything to current mode. And this again is all done from the rebase tree. Uh, easy for you to sign, sign your file. So you, you, you provide the arguments of the last release that's on current mode. And then the next argument, the new version that you're creating. Uh, you can use SRT to upload and again, same arguments. So repeating story. And then that's where the current uploader tool comes in. So it's used to actually pull the, the all the new files from your local directory and then upload them to the um, and some of the if you if you've ever looked to where the patches are downloaded and they um like a link for integrated patches and I don't have links in the in the reference tools, but there's a link for posting great patches. Um, and then there's an older Link which has the uh, previous versions that were first created. Uh, the portal goes and moves files around to put everything in the proper location for the new release. <coughs> and then, actually, the patches are uploaded. We just do a, uh, a push of the, the merge track. Uh, it just uploads the, the upstream repository that can be cleaned. Um, and then the push uses. That, that configuration that I showed you earlier. Um, it looks at the keys in there to know where, where it's going to upload, where it's going to push to, where the GPG key is, the, uh, um, the project key. Okay, now that everything is uploaded and put, it's starting to a new release. Uh, we used this that uh, the template I showed earlier to generate um, the email, the email uh, format. Body of the email. The same example I'm using as before, but I got the version numbers different. Uh, concept is that once you announce them, then you 
was released this October. We uh, we released it, created a directory of files, and then use use an email tool to um, send the email to get the configuration file for where the email is going to. Okay, and I think the part that's a great brand is 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 and then the real time patches themselves not to keep it updated. to the community to make sure that they can do some testing on the list of the new issues. Um, so, 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 Run stick with that. Um, then there's some uh, benchmark suites that are like the eval. My test is, is what contains this test. It has a bunch of tests on it. Eval is what the test runs with the load, so it's just a check and wait and see on it. System, so like that visual latency. This needs basically puts a, a load on the well to put test is running so you can um, have a, a load as from it as well. I generally mark one of these tests to make sure that there's no there's all kinds of failures in there. But, you know, who does test knows that there's failures that you know there's going to be a test failure. And the test failure is not going to be there's a failure of my test failure. So, you see that there's something bad. So, you can check with the other maintainers to sort the around and the like to. Some debugging aspect or, or what have you. Okay, so conclusion is what we're coming up with this. So, the benefit of the real time is that we show multiple companies can, can work together to maintain a common code base uh, or get merged into many things really with, with the foundation. Hosting, hosting and coordinating uh, activity. Um, so the uh, you know, the last time we talked about the past been uh, about two weeks ago, and it was uh, oh, maybe real time is kind of going to and then after the other day, we can switch up and make up. Uh, 
was the front row of the main line. It was the sixth of black belt here. And uh, four nights in the UL this year, and then five four is UL next year, and then the rest will all UL in 2026. And then that's it. Real time will be uh, main consideration. that but Change 
that was like a, a version change could be like your latency stuff. Um, so I guess that's in my mind then, you know, that kind of history. That's an opportunity for a new project. <laughs> Project I'm working on the phone and it's going to be the same time. Like, we generally look at the phone and it's going to be the same time. But, like, uh, you can get the product segments to be the same time. Like, how do you find the same time? 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 Thank you. 